Okay, you sh you might know this from generation two, three, three, four. Um, I'll provide the link, but I'm going to play some of his video about the signs that point to the rapture and tribulation of these days point to the day that soon of the return of the Lord. Now, I'm going to play the video of what we've been talking about is there an actual sign that is significant to the rapture. Now, we've been saying that there's no specific sign, but there is something to this that might change exactly the format in what we've been talking about. So I'm going to listen. We're going to listen to what he has to say. And once you see this one specific thing happen, then the rapture is going to immediately happen. Um, there's not a scripture that says that. Okay. But the Bible does say that there is a sign that will tell us the rapture is close. It won't tell you the timing. It won't tell you the day or the hour, but it will tell you that the rapture is close. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? I'm going to tell you. It's the tribulation period. That's the sign. So I get it. You know, someone is, is definitely going to be typing already and say, you know, but Tyler, you know, you, you rapture head moron. The tribulation comes after the rapture. So how can the tribulation be a sign for the rapture? You know, how, how can that possibly work? And I get it. I get, I get the confusion there. I get why someone would say that. Um, and it's not offensive to me. It's, it's uh, understandable how that might be confusing until you go to the Bible, until you go to Jesus. Like Chuck Missler said, if you have a, a question or if you have a puzzle and you can't figure it out, put Jesus in the middle of it and see what happens. So that's what we're going to do. So the reason the tribulation is a sign of the rapture is because of Luke 21 and what Jesus said in Luke 21. So first, let's go to Luke 21, verse 28. And Jesus speaking, he says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then... Look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Okay, so first of all, I want you to understand something. In Luke 21, before verse 28, Jesus is describing the tribulation period. Okay, that is what he just got done describing. So what does he give as a sign that the rapture is about to occur it's the things that are to occur during the tribulation period beginning to happen okay so i want to read again luke 21 28 and when these things the things that happen during the tribulation period begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. So, Jesus is saying, from his own mouth, when you see the tribulation period near, on the horizon, then it's time to look up, because then the rapture is coming very soon. Then the rapture is near. So near that you need to start looking up for it. Okay? That. Okay. I just want you, we can listen to the rest of it in a link below in the description box. What we've seen is that the, the scanners are all up and ready. Uh, you can get a chip now where, not you per se, but I'm just saying the persons out there that want the chip to buy and sell is available. Uh, most 
people know there's a one world religion system in place right now where you can now officially see it coming into fruition uh, that will be available in October where there's going to be a Muslim, there's going to be a Jewish center, and there's going to be another Christian Catholic type center um, exactly where that place is. I'm not specifically sure, but it will be available in October. So that'll be the one world religion. And then you just saw the story with the red heifers and the temple being built. So we are right now in the beginning stages of what will be tribulation. So that really applies to this very specific scripture in Luke 21. Again, I'll put that scripture, um, not scripture, but that link in the description box below just to confirm what we are right now in the midst of that very scripture being fulfilled. All right, God bless.